Hello all, Jamie Rogers here from Creative Expressions and today we're going to look at stenciling over our dies. Now dies have been used as stencils for many many moons and normally that means that we actually die cut the element, leave the die in place and stencil through to add colour on top of the piece that we've die cutted. But there is a different way that we can do this and this is what I wanted to talk about in today's video. So what I have here is one of the pierced oval designs from Sue Wilson's Noble Collection and I've simply just put it down onto a piece of card and I've used two airless misters, amber lights and cherry pop to go across the top of it and add in some colour. Now you could use all different mediums so let's show you another version. This one this time we are going to use some Wendy Becky Makeup Blendable Inks and we're just going to use a Vassen Creative Blending Brush to go over the top of the die holding it in place adding our color over the top now of course these are metal dies so they don't tend to move or misshape although they're very thin as we go to color over the top of them which is a true bonus if you wanted to take this in place you absolutely can do um, to be honest I'm just gonna wing it for the sake of this video but if you wanted to take them down feel free to it would certainly give you a crisper image now with my blendable dye inks I'm gonna use a whole variation of colors through this little video I'm gonna be using bluebird garden patina forget-me-not and poppy and I'm using a blending brush because I found that the safest and nicest way to apply my ink. If I was using a smoothie, for instance, I might find that parts of the dye might attach to the smoothie and damage it. With this blending brush, I find it just glides over the top and no damage was done to the brush. Because the last thing I want to do is show you a technique that's going to damage any of your products. Now not only can we do this with items like the Noble dies, we can also do this with our open dies. So this one is a hummingbird design by Sue Wilson. This is our stained glass collection. And again, all I'm doing is just taking a blending brush. This time I'm using the bluebird colour. And I'm just going to go straight over the top of this. You could blend this, you could colour this, you could use your misters again. You can use a whole host of different ideas. But it's just a way of showing you how not only can you use these as a die, we can also use them as a stencil, which might come in really, really handy for you. Another one of the designs that I like to do this with is this lovely Bubbles Background Dye by Sue Wilson. Now this came out recently as part of her nautical collection and it's again a really nice design to play around with. But to be honest, there are going to be so many dyes you could be using this with throughout your stash. I know I've come across loads in mine, especially the Noble dyes. I really like being able to add that framed element onto my projects without having to go and buy endless frame stencils and not only would I have to buy them they might not even have them in the same shapes sizes and designs that I might require now with this design as you can see we can just pop it down we can do our ink all the way through it then we can twist it I know why stop at one layer when we can add in two so this time I'm going to go back in with a poppy ink after twisting my die 90 degrees and I'm going to blend that ink over the top of it now I could do this again and again if I wanted to building up different colors or maybe I might want to do some misting over one of the layers or adding a different product but what I wanted to show you is how even with these we can create some really cool fun backgrounds and I think that could look really interesting in lots of different colors for lots of different seasons and reasons throughout the year. Now our first one isn't yet dry but it gives you a good idea of how it's going to look. There's our lovely hummingbird, then we've got our oval as well. All of the products I've shared with you today including the dyes are of course available from all good creative expression stockings worldwide. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.